Hello to everyone. My name is Hunter from DailyRadioBible.com, and we are on a journey through the book of Psalms. The Psalms have been a prayer book for God's people. Allow these meditations to direct your heart's prayers to God. Today, we are in Psalm 37, verses 1 through 11, from the New Living Translation, Meditations of the Heart. Psalm 37, verses 12 through 29. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab their own hearts. Their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich, for the strength of the wicked will be shattered. But the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine they will have more than enough. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land, but those he curses will die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. The godly always give generous loans to others and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and live there forever. Psalm 37, 12 through 29. Join us at our flagship podcast, The Daily Radio Bible where we read through the entire Bible over the course of a year. In our daily reading and meditation, we open our hearts to the God who is love. Find out more wherever you get your podcast. Until tomorrow, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved.